Thank you enough for a fourth term. Uh, Ginny Sully, sir. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker, for this opportunity to contribute to the general debate. Whakalofalahiatu and Happy New Year Language Week. Um, before I uh, go on to the topic of my general debate, I'd like to just uh, address a couple of uh, things that the previous speaker spoke about. He said that their government, the national government, is focused on measures and targets. But are they actually measuring child poverty? Have they even decided to define child poverty? Do they even have a target for child poverty? The answer to all of those questions is absolutely not. The things that this current national government is focused on are not the right kinds of things. It is my pleasure to take this call, Mr uh, Speaker, because today we have a new report that was released by the Salvation Army, the What's Next report. We've known for a while, Mr Speaker, that a lot of our young people, especially those who are facing persistent um, systematic challenges with regards to the labour market, many of them are not actually getting the, the right kinds of outcomes. And what has this current government done? Well, they've implemented various things. Let's look at, say, Youth Guarantee, a program which we know when the Prime Minister um, announced its uh, implementation, he is quoted as saying, and I quote, the bottom line is this, the days of 16 and 17 year olds being able to leave school and drift along aimlessly while being financially supported by the government are at an end. But when we look at the evaluation of Youth Guarantee, has it delivered? No, because what we know from the evaluation of Youth Guarantee, if you're a young person and if you're age 16 and 17, the likelihood of you becoming, um, ending up on a benefit and becoming unemployed is so much higher. We have an additional 2020 young people receiving benefits now after participating in Youth Guarantee. 869 more who are not in education, employment or training, 440 fewer um, people in full employment after participating in Youth Guarantee. But if I can go back to the, um, the report that was just released, the, the Salvation Army's report, I'd like to commend Alan Johnson and the Salvation Army for the work that they do. These are some of the things that this report highlighted. New Zealand is going to be short by about 300,000 workers over the next 10 years. We have already, every week, about 900 people who are reaching retirement age. But are we producing enough apprenticeships to make sure that the housing shortages, that the shortages we have in terms of apprenticeship and skilled people are actually coming through to replace those who are going to be retiring, who are already retiring every week? The answer to that is absolutely no, we are not. In terms of apprenticeship, this government has various initiatives to address apprenticeship. But what we know from the Salvation Army's report is we have close to one third decline in building apprenticeships between when this government came into power in 2008 and 2012. In fact, in terms of numbers, we have an overall uh, number of 11,560 less apprenticeships right now compared to when the government came into power in 2008. In terms of this current government's job-related training, what we also know, as highlighted by the um, Salvation Army, is we have 70,000 young people between the ages of 15 to um, 19 years of age who are not in education, employment or training. We have, for those who are aged between 20 to 24, 50,000 young people who are persistently outside of education and training. So when I hear folks from the other side of the house saying how wonderful they're doing and how they're ensuring that young people, um, and they're actually focused on outcomes, they are not focused on outcomes for young people. Otherwise, we would not be seeing these numbers coming out of the Salvation Army. And we shouldn't wait on a third party like the Salvation Army to point out just how much um, this government has failed and not address our young people. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker.